I'll look at the jab cross. I'll put the timer on in a sec. Um, today, jab cross as you practice in your space. Just practice your basic jab cross. So jab to the head, cross to the head, and also jab cross to the body as well. So you can break it up to singles, just single jabs, single crosses, single cross to the body. I'll put them together, jab cross, okay? So two minutes of that. I'll talk you guys through as I shadow. Find your space, get yourself ready. And let's go, timer on. So find your Muay Thai stance. Let's just start with jab cross to the head. So from your face, jab cross. Turn your knuckles over. Make sure you're taking little steps as I jab and cross. So I don't want to kind of just stay here, keeping my shoulders squared and my hips squared. So from the side, as I go through my jab cross, I should be turning my hips, turning my shoulders as well. Yeah, taking a little step forward instead of reaching for the cross. Move around. Exhale as you strike. Jab cross. Hands coming back to your head. As you move around, guys, just from here, try not to cross your feet over as you move. Always keeping distance and width in your stance. Chin down as you punch. So from here, you want to avoid having your chin come up as you punch jab cross. Keep your shoulders down, chin down, and just punch straight down the line, straight target. And again, okay, let's bring that cross down to the body. Cross to the body, I'm dropping my weight down, widening my stance, bring the hand to the sternum here, cross to the body, okay? So just single cross to the body, drop, hit, move around, forward, and drop. So bring the jab together with the cross, jab, cross the body, bring it back to your head, move around again, Jab, cross. You can practice singles as well. Let's say single jab, pop the jab, nice and quick. Try to bring your right shoulder back a little bit as I throw my jab and bring it back. For the cross, elbows tucked in. From here, just turn the hips, bring it back. Pop. You want to kind of feel like you're sitting your weight down in towards your front hip as I throw the cross. So here, sit into the front hip, bring that back foot in a little bit. Throw the cross, and up. Cross to the body, under 10 seconds. Drop, and up. Turn, drop, and up. And tight. All right, guys, next round. Let's have a look at our push kicks. We're gonna change the levels of the push kicks as well. So this round, warm up your hips. You have teeth to the side with the lead leg, teeth to the side with the rear leg, where I kind of just pop, pop it this way. Teeth to the belly of the chest area. Here, rear teeth, and I also want you guys to practice teeth to the face. Bum, teeth to the face, bum. All right, so two minutes of that. We're starting now. So in your stance, we'll start with teeth to the legs, pop. So just using the ball of my foot just to stab the thigh. Yeah, just to make them kind of evolve here and I'm getting teeth, pop. I'll just what happened to me. I'll kind of lose my balance and I'll just drop their stance or teeth to the leg this way. I kind of turn my foot for a wider surface area. So I'm looking for you guys side on, this way, yeah? So teeth, front teeth, pop to the lead leg, teeth to the torso area, teeth. And I got teeth to the face, bum, teeth to the face, bum. And you guys will notice that as I teeth, I'm dropping the hand down. The side that I'm push kicking with, I drop that hand down to enable my hip to extend through a little bit more. Yeah, supporting leg is flat, so as I push kick this leg, pop, it's flat. Yes, yeah, so I don't want to come up on my toes as I push kick, as I teeth, foot is flat. I even turn it out a little bit to widen my base for a strong push kick. And again, in your rhythm, under a minute, guys. Deep, so just change the levels up. Keep to the face or teeth to the thigh. You also have teeth to the hips as well, yeah? So basically, bump all the way up to here is your push kick target. Just move around. Practice dripping height of your push kick. Good technique. Move around, keep. Twenty seconds, guys. Nice and sharp. Keep your core strong. And you're really stable and tall through your supporting leg. Keep. Last one. 
Let's have a look at our roundhouse kick. Sorry, I'm a bit sniffly been sick for two weeks. Um, please excuse my sniffles. So we're here, roundhouse kick. Just to the body, actually let's try body and head. We're gonna go stepping across the line, swing, bop. Nice and strong, or switch kick. From here, switch, bop, to the body. You can also bring that up to the head. Same technique, stepping off the line a little bit, swing, and bring it up. All right, so body kick, head kick. Time is on, let's go. Move around, important point is, from here, taking a little step across the line, bring my weight over the leg, kick, all right? Heel comes off the ground as I pivot into the kick. So again, just a re kick again, step, kick, and bring it back. Just let your leg kick all the way through, just so you can practice kicking with the hip rather than controlling the leg and flicking with the leg today, yes? Yeah? Switch, pop, kick through. So make sure you, as you're sitting, bring my weight onto the right leg. Heel comes off the ground, and I push and extend the hip all the way through. Switch, kick, pop. Move around your space. You can practice your head kicks as well. From here, head kick, pop. Or head kick, pop. So, if you guys are practicing the lead leg, we can also have, instead of just the switch, we can also do a step up kick. Yeah, so a step up is just two parallel lines here. Step, keep it parallel, kick, all the way through, yep. Yeah? So here, covering this here, I can step, kick. Forty seconds, guys. Practicing roundhouse kicks. Make sure you turn the arm, turn your shoulders. Try not to stop your kick this way. Let the arm go all the way through. Step, kick. Ten seconds, guys. Change up that level as well. Body and head. That's our warm up. Um, three rounds of that. Have a look at our jab cross. Have a look push kick. Different levels. Opening up the hips. Roundhouse kick. Let's start a combination round. All right, guys. Round one. Let's keep it super simple. Let's start with our jab to the face. Feet to the leg. From here, cross to the face, and we'll add in a switch kick. Up to the body or to the head. So switch kick, switch kick at the end is up to you guys. Body either aiming towards the ribs or you can bring it up to the head. Try and bury it up. So again, we have jab, feet to lay. See, I'm kind of holding my position here. I'm not stepping too heavy with the jab for this one. So we're going jab, feet, cross, from there, switch, and throw my kick. Okay, one more time, all together. So we've got jab, feet, nice and chill, bop, bop. Yep, so put the first two together, jab and feet, and then second, bop, bop. Cross and switch together. All right, let's put the timer on. All right, guys, three minutes on the clock. Let's get started. Jab, seat, always coming back to your rhythm. Jab, seat, just drop, cross, switch key. All right, move around again. So using that jab and seat, just to establish your range at the start. So think about kind of starting like a your exchanges are starting a like a sparring or fight round. We're just here, establish distance, nice and relaxed. Once you found that distance, you know where we are in space. Put the two together to attack. You're trying to focus on landing a strong body kick for this combo. So jab, deep, relax a bit. Now explosive, cross, switch. All right, move around. Now we can vary up that lead kick. Jab, deep, relax. Cross, bring it up to the head as well. Move around. As I switch, guys, I'm swinging my arms across the face and then opening up. So again, remember with the kiki, don't keep your hands on your head. From here, swing the arms. 
open up the hips for your kick, all right? Okay, halfway through, nice and sharp now. Move around your space in between. Feel free to add some checks. Lean, make it more realistic. Add your defense in. Next round, let's bring the punches down to the body. Let's start with jab, pop, cross to the body. Now from here, we're going to go up into a rear knee, bump. We're going to push, lead hand. We're going to go for a rear kick to the head. So from the side, let's go again. Shadow with me, jab, cross to the body. Now from here, rear knee. This hand here kind of grabbing the head, pulling it down. Once your foot lands, Push the lead hand, chin down, and bring it up for a head kick. So as you disengage from that knee range, you're going to chase them with a head kick. From this side, one more time. Jab, cross to the body, knee, land, push, head kick. All right? Again, 10 seconds. Jab, cross to the body, knee, push, chest, kick to the head. All right, guys, time is on. Second round. Let's do it. So put it all together, jab, cross to the body, knee to the head. Sorry, knee to the anywhere in the body really. Push the chest, kick the head, okay? And again, just watch my footwork for the jab, cross to the body, take a skip into the knee. When I push, palm open, push. I can kind of bring this hand across this way for my long guard, or keep it here, up to you. Drop your weight down, push the chest, and they get ready, up, head kick, okay? All together, use that jab, set up the body cross. Now skip in, drive the knee up, land, push, kick, okay? Again, push, up. Oh. Back into frame. Good job. Cross to the body, skip knee, bump, and drop my leg down. I push on the back leg. So you don't want to kind of lean forward into the push. Keep your weight in the back leg, push the chest, and then now weight transfer, front leg, kick to the head. Okay? Okay? As I go for my push, guys, I don't want to fully lock my elbow out either. So here, soft bend in the elbow, push with your body weight, shove them back, and then kick to the head. So you guys are thinking about pushing. Think about someone after your knee, look here. Imagine that they're trying to come in either for a knee or to close in for the clinch. As they do so, I drop my weight, push them back. So they're on one leg, trying to knee, they'll get pushed back. As they're recovering from that, boom, change them with a head kick. Okay, put that all together. Try and imagine that scenario in your head. Jab, cross to the body, hit knee, push, take, head kick. Again, jab. Cross to the body, bop, push, head kick. Under a minute, guys. Doing well. Keep that rhythm. If you feel like these combos are going too far, put a pause into it, pull it down, get the step first, and then press play again. Or just come back to it when you're ready.
Wait a second, guys. together for push kick to the face. Okay, we're here. Sorry about the swivel. We're gonna go double jab. Bum, bum. Body kick on the rear side. Bum. And I want you guys just to recover. Imagine you landed it in real life. Leg comes back. We're gonna go back. As they chase this forward for a kick, this rear leg comes up. Fire. Kick to the face. I'm gonna finish with a Superman punch. Okay, so kick to the face. Pushes them back. Then we're going to cover distance, bum, lift that rear leg up again, and chase them down with a cross. Okay? Same. One more time. So, double jab, 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 rear kick to the body, bum. Bring it back, take a step back, or a couple of steps back from here, keep to the face as they chase. As they're stumbling back, chase them, Superman punch. Okay, time is on, let's go. Double jab. Bump, bump, body kick, back, they're chasing you, step back, feet to the face, quickly, cover distance, superman punch. So using that rear team right, to the face, one, rear knee lifts up again, now I'm kind of going to like donkey kick back, one, two, that's the footwork there, yeah? So we're here, as my leg kicks back, one, two, that's where the punch comes up, okay? So all together. Double jab. I'll see with the other leg. Then. Bum, kick, bump. Backwards. Now, stay forward, stay forward. Keep to the face. Quickly. Superman punch. Okay? Move around. Double jab. Bump, bump, bump. Kick. Draw them in. Draw them in. Keep to the face. Bump. Cover this in. Okay. As you Superman punch, hands in your face. One, two. Yeah? Again, as the leg or the body hinges backwards, that's when my punch comes up, all right? And try and like glide across the mat. So you cover distance for your Superman punch. Oh. All together, jab, jab, kick, bring it back, bum, bum. Bit of a wider stance here, keep to the face, Oop. Superman punch. Minute 20, guys. Thank you guys. And time. Awesome work guys. Two rounds. Yeah, work on this. Shadow boxing. Whew, putting together basic work, jab cross, body kick, incorporating some jumping stuff as well. Also level changes, push kick to the leg, chest, face, same for the punches, different levels of the punches as well face and body. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's finish off some core work. Let me get myself ready and let's go. Alright guys, last five minutes. We're going to do 45 seconds of a core exercise and then change it through. Hey Munchie. Um, I'll put the timer on. It's a five minute round. I'll tell you guys through when 45 seconds is and then we'll go through to the next exercise. 
Okay, first one, just go sit up and then twist. All right. Last five minutes, guys. Let's get into it. Finish doing some core work. All right. Time is on. So down we go. Sitting up. Twist and back down. Try and keep your fingertips on your temples the whole time. Back straight. Twist. As you sit up, guys, try and avoid squeezing your elbows in together for today. Let's keep the elbows up. Chin down and twist. All right. Doing well, guys. Sit up. Twist. Just pass halfway. There's only 45 seconds of work for each core exercise. All right, and five. Okay, next one. Fingers facing forward. We're gonna go in out. So as I extend my legs out, bend your elbows a little bit and bring them back in. Okay, starting in three, two, let's go. Out and in. Legs fully extended out, bring them in. Now I want you guys to try as well, twisting to the side. So as you can see from here, front on, I bring my foot out to the side, or twist my knees out to the side. So I've got straight down the middle, out to the side, out to the side. Let's shift this way because the sun's really bright. Keep it up, guys. Doing well. In, out. Extend all the way. I find it helpful to like keep my toes pointed when I do this. So under 10 seconds to go. So I like to go straight down the middle, out to the side, out to the side. And time. Easy work, guys. Three more rounds. Next one, let's have a look at our little flutters. So we're lying down. Support your little back if you need to. Legs straight and little flutter steps this way. All right, starting in three, two, and let's go. Legs are straight, pulling the core in nice and flat. So I'm making a triangle under my lower back and little flutters this way. Try and press your lower back into the mat. So you don't want to have your lower back kind of arching too far off. Take little, little steps this way. Try and lock out the legs, chin down, and keep breathing. Try and think about pulling your belly button into your spine. Activating your lower abdominal and your pelvic floor. Keep breathing, guys. It's getting super warm in here. Nice sunny day or afternoon in Melbourne. All right, guys, and time. Awesome work. Okay, sitting up. Now, let's go into drift and sit up variation. We're lying down. Keep your hands on your thighs this time. Now hands on your thighs the whole time. Sit up and reach as high up as you can. Try not to keep your hands off your thighs. Okay, time is on, let's go. Chin tucked in, hands slide up the thighs and reach, yeah? I'm trying to get my wrists up towards my knees without letting go and using momentum to sit up. So hands on your thighs, slide, squeeze the core and back down. As you slide down, same thing. Slide up and slide back down. Arms are straight. Slide. Doing well, guys. Second last exercise for today. Chin tucked in. Slide and back down. Again, pulling the belly button in. Activate your core before we come up. And time. All right. Last one coming up. Let's do some Russian twists. Move back a little bit this time. He's chasing me. Okay, so interlock your legs, feet off the ground. We're starting in three, two, and let's go. Last 45 seconds. Side to side, reaching. I'm so trying to keep my back straight. Try not to round through the back. Back straight. Twisting. And again, the core is activated the whole time. Rather than letting your core switch off, and all that work goes into your lower back. Try and pull that work into the core. So start with hip flexors, activate your pelvic floor and your lower abdominal muscles. Almost there, guys. 15 seconds left, and we're done for today. Kick it up a little bit. Keep breathing. Five seconds left. And time. All right, guys.
guys. Nice work. You got me. Very awesome work today. Hope you guys enjoyed that class. I'm going to grab my team and say bye. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's a good one. Enjoy the sunshine.